Hey, it's Michael, and I'm back with another video. And in this video, I'm going to talk about something that kind of catches people by surprise, and it's the age reduction schedule found in group term life insurance plans. And since it kind of sneaks up on people and they don't really often know about it until they find out that it affects them, I call it the hidden age reduction schedule, and I'm going to talk about it right now. All right, now a lot of us kind of rely on getting our life insurance just solely through our employer, through employer-sponsored group term life insurance plans. And these are of one of two types, either basic group term life insurance that your employer kind of gives you, or maybe you just have to pay a small fraction of the cost to have, uh, and supplemental group term life insurance that you can pick up at your own expense on top of that, and maybe even cover some of your family members. Uh, it's great because when you're first eligible, if you sign up, usually you can get up to a certain amount without having to go through any medical questions. So it's convenient. Uh, and then, you know, once we have it, we kind of just tuck it aside and kind of forget about it. In fact, if you ask employees, which I do all the time, you know, how much life insurance you got here through work, you know, they'll say, hmm, I know I got something, but I really don't know how much I've got. And they often don't know how it works. But since they've got it, it kind of, after a while, kind of seems like you're always going to have it. And it feels like it's going to be like permanent life insurance, even though it's not designed to last your entire life. And so, you know, a lot of times when you leave employment, you'll lose those coverages unless there's some portability provisions or conversion built in. And we'll talk about that in another video. But a lot of times that life insurance just goes away and people don't have it anymore when they leave. But a lot of employees will say to me, they'll say, hey, you know, I'm going to I'm going to work till I die anyway. And so I'm just going to use the life insurance I got to work. But what they don't know a lot of times is that when they reach certain ages, the life insurance benefit amount is going to start to reduce by a certain percentage in most group term life insurance plans. Now, I can't say all I don't know how everybody's plan works, but in the majority of cases, there's going to be some sort of age reduction schedule built in that says when you reach an age like 65 and 70 and 75, the life insurance base amount is going to go down. And, um, you know, when that age is just depends on the plan. So, for example, let's say you had a basic group term life insurance plan and the employer gave you $20,000 of life insurance. Well, when you turn 65, if the age reduction schedule said that your benefit was cut in half, well, then from 65 until the next age reduction schedule, then what would happen is, is that you only have $10,000 worth of coverage. And it could wind up that you have hardly any life insurance coverage if you stay there past 75. Um, and you know, it's not unusual. I find a lot of employees working a lot of longer ages, even in jobs that are, you know, more uh, labor intensive than others. You know, it's not unusual to see somebody over 70 years old still doing that kind of job. Um, now, this age reduction schedule, I call it a hidden age reduction schedule because sometimes people don't find out about it you know, when it occurs. Uh, I've heard of cases where employees have died and then families had found out, well, I thought, you know, there was a different amount of life insurance only to find out that the age reduction schedule had reduced it and they didn't know that was going to happen. And the other thing is, is that, you know, sometimes employees find out about it when it occurs and didn't know about it until that time. And so, um, you know, they get extremely upset that no one ever told them that the insurance was going to reduce because they might have bought some life insurance that they could always hang on to without it ever changing and instead of having something that's just going to disappear on them or reduce to a small amount that doesn't amount to as much. So what you want to do is you, with your employer is you want to kind of ask, you know, hey, is there an age reduction schedule here and how does it work? Just so you're aware of it. And depending on the employer you work with, a lot of times they'll publish the age reduction schedule, but it's not uncommon to find out that they don't publish it. And even if you ask your employer or even insurance agents that are kind of helping you enroll benefits, no one will have a clue, you know, what the age reduction schedule is. And somebody will have to get on the phone and kind of find out, you know, what, what it is. So just realize that you probably have one in there. And, uh, you know, if you're an employer, it's a good idea to publish that schedule so employees are aware of it. And the other thing to keep in mind is, is that, you know, whatever that is today, these employer-based plans that are group contract related, it doesn't mean they're always going to stay that way. So whatever the age reduction schedule is now might be different by the time you get to that age, or you might even be at another employer when that happens to you. But the main thing that I want to point out is, is there is an age reduction schedule built in a lot of group term life insurance plans. And if you're kind of relying on that, 
uh, life insurance to pay for your final expenses or whatever, there's a good chance there will be less there than maybe expected. And so I always recommend to employers it's a good idea to not only have the basic group life and the supplemental term life, but also to have a whole life option that employees can pick up so that you know down the road this is life insurance that they can always hang on to in the whole life part even if they happen to terminate employment or even if they get past these age reduction schedule events that happen so um, you know that's how the age reduction schedule works you got any questions you know put them down in the comments and uh, if you want to keep track of my channel i encourage you to subscribe on youtube and you know hit the like button if you like what i got to talk about and i'll see you in the next video